Guess what? I'm officially nine months today. <laughs> and I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really excited about that. Because that means that next month, I won't be pregnant anymore and I'll have a cute little baby. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I'll be able to sleep through the night and pee normally and all right. So that means I'm 36 weeks today, which is um, term. I finally figured it out. I think it's 34 to 36 weeks is term, and then 37 weeks to 37 to 40 weeks is full term, and 40 to 42 weeks is post term. So that's what I learned. Well, that's what I was told anyway. So I almost full term, kind of. Anyways, if he came out now, they, he'd have a really good chance of surviving. It's like 95%. And he would have to stay in the emergency room. The only thing that's happening um, in these next two weeks is his lungs are finishing developing. Which makes sense. Those are kind of the last things to develop. His kidneys and liver and stomach and everything are all functioning. But the lungs... That's why he's got to stay in the cooker a little bit longer. <laughs> so I'm avoiding all the smokers for the next two weeks. Um, yeah, not much new with me. My backache has kind of went away a little bit, and I think that has something to do with I finally got my air mattress. My dad brought it in for me, so that was nice. It's a double stacked actual like air mattress bed, and I took my mattress off my bed and I <laughs> put the air mattress on there. So it's really nice. I'm sleeping in my room for the first time since Christmas. That's how long I've been on the couch or on this really cruddy air mattress I had in the living room that deflated in like two hours. So, Whew. And I wake up and I don't have a backache or a headache. It's amazing. The only problem is, is that um, I'm waking up a good four or five times a night to pee and I'm not even drinking fluids before bedtime an hour before bed, you know, they say stop the fluids and you won't pee as much. Not true. <laughs> I'm like a wizard, so. And the pit is literally, I can go to the bathroom, walk to my sink three feet away, with obviously like my eyes are half open and I have the light on and I'm like, death, I want to go back to sleep. And I'll be washing my hands and all of a sudden I just feel it. It's like, no way. I do not have to pee again. That's not pee. Then I get halfway to the bed and I turn around and I'm like, shit, I have to pee again. <laughs> so, I'm excited to sleep through the night. Well, except for to, you know, get up and feed him, but that'll be better. So. Oh, next month I'll have a tiny little baby. <laughs> have something to show for all this. <laughs> Oh, and you can see his um, wall hanging up there, kind of. It's kind of cute. It says baby, and I love rubber ducks and like blue and yellow, so that's what this is. Hanging on his blinds. It's a little rubber ducky. Um, what else is new with me? Uh, not too much. I'm really energetic. And I have a whole list of things I want to get done tonight, and I'm going to get them done because I'm feeling really obsessive. And I just am, it's, God, it's almost 10 o'clock at night, and I'm just like rearing and ready to go. And I didn't even have any caffeine. So, maybe this is my energy burst. Who knows? I'm going to take advantage of it and get as much done as I can because I'm feeling good. <laughs> also... My hand is tingly, and it's not so awesome. <laughs> it's getting a lot worse. Um, what happens is the fluid builds up, you know, like in your joints and stuff. Obviously, you gain, retain a little bit of water, and well, I'm like retaining a lot of water. I feel like Jabba the Hutt or something. But <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, the nerves just get pinched sometimes when, you, like, the fluid expands, and that makes your hands tingle totally normal, but it doesn't go away till after you deliver. So I have a really tingly hand and it acts up when I'm driving. I'm driving and I'll just be like shaking it and <laughs> I can't feel anything. It's probably not the safest thing in the world, but 
oh well, I like to drive. It gets kind of annoying sometimes, though, like, I'll touch, you know, my face or my shirt or something and I can't feel it. I don't like that. It's kind of weird. <laughs> but yeah. Had the childbirth classes this morning. Totally disappointed. We didn't learn anything. The class was, had nine couples. It was unstructured. Just pointless. So if any of you take childbirth classes, I hope you have better luck than we did. We didn't learn anything from it. Um, you'd think they would have went over, you know, when to call the doctor. <sighs> like, sorry, I'm kind of fidgety. I'm standing, so. Um, I don't know. She didn't go over when to call the doctor, and I asked her, you know, I raised my hand. I'm like, so when do you advise we call the doctor? And she was so vague. She was like, well, it really just depends. And it's like, not a good answer. You're going to have so many people that don't know what's going on. So I'm really glad we watched the Laugh and Learn About Childbirth video. That's amazing. If you have a chance to buy it or download it or at least watch a little bit online, I would do that. You're going to learn so much from it. I'm not saying don't go to your childbirth classes. Just maybe do both or whatever. <laughs> yeah, we just had bad luck. So we ended up skipping the second half of it. I've already been, we already toured the hospital on our own and it's so freaking tropical up there that I almost passed out the last time we were on the tour. I just sit down for like three minutes and it was embarrassing and I wasn't gonna do that again. The tour is an hour and a half long and then we were gonna do breathing and floor exercises for an hour and Christopher has been was sitting on my intestine or something all morning and I had a really bad stomach ache and I was like I don't want to go back and do breathing techniques that we already know and tour the hospital that we already toured and learn nothing so we went to Mexican instead it was much more productive <laughs> so that was pointless and I was really disappointed that we got there at 8 o'clock for that but there were free muffins and juice that was the only good thing so, yep. Oh, and uh, here's what I got this week. Picked it out. It's a little, you have to get a nightgown, you know, or whatever, something for the hospital. And I hadn't even thought about it until this week, but yeah, there it is. It has little stars on it and ooh, little boob flaps for <laughs> breastfeeding. That's what I call them, boob flaps. And I got some pink slippers to go along with it ordered them. Oh, they're all in my hospital bag. Cute, cute. <laughs> but yeah. Other than that, there's nothing else new with me. I'm feeling very energetic. I got all of his laundry done. Had an easier time this time than the last time, but that's about it. Just getting this stuff done. Um, so hopefully this coming week I will have a vlog of the nursery. I just have to move my room around so I can get some stuff out, but here. Here you can kind of see it. This changing table, there's the pack and play. Um, and this is this cute little crib. Little ducky. And his wall hanging. That's homemade, it's so cute. And this changing table. And all of his diapers are neatly stacked. <laughs> yep. Oh, and this is his bassinet. It's been in the family for a while, so it's kind of. But yeah. That's kind of a nursery overview. So now I can tell you the belly before I go. Which is huge, and the stripes do nothing for me, but just ignore that. <laughs> Nine months pregnant, so bear with me. I hope I don't get much bigger. There's a huge tank. <laughs> he is going to be a big boy. Oh my goodness. And you can, I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of bold right there. 